So I've been having some issues with my bathroom light because every time I switch it on now, sometimes the light doesn't come on or it blinks like I'm in a disco and I've got to press it many, many times in an attempt to get the light on. Eventually it'll come on. Oh, finally! So it looks like there is a connection problem with the switch and what I'm going to do in this video is to show you how to change the switch out and it's really, really simple. So first things first is that before we even take the switch out, we need to make sure that the circuit that leads towards the switch is turned off. So we need to go to the fuse box and switch off the lever that connects the circuit to the switch. So how do we do that? We're going to leave the light on and then we're going to go to the fuse box and try the switches and find out which switch will turn off this light while this is still switched on. If this is switched off and we try to manipulate the fuse box, we will have no idea which connects to what. So we're going to leave the light on. So that's my fuse box and you can see that there's a whole bunch of different colored uh, levers over here. We need to try each one to find out which lever will control the circuit for that particular switch. Okay, looks like I found the switch. So I was watching the bathroom light and it turns out that this switch switches off the bathroom light but it seems to switch off a whole bunch of things as well so that means that we've got a whole bunch of parallel circuits connected together uh, all coming out from this particular switch so we've got to switch this off before we take apart that switch so I'm kind of doing this in the dark because in my true procrastinating style, I waited until it was evening before getting started on this. Now I know I can probably wait until tomorrow, but tomorrow is a working day and by the time I get home it's going to be evening as well and I'll be too tired to do anything. Plus I want to be able to use the bathroom tonight without having to flip the switch as many times as you saw earlier. So let's just get this done right now. So first things first, we're going to have to unscrew the screws that are holding the switch to the wall. So let's get started. So make sure that you get the screwdriver that is suitable for the screw. So you can see here that this screw is uh, the star-shaped one which means you need the Phillips screwdriver. So I'm just going to unscrew it right now. Right. So we're going to put the screws away somewhere for safekeeping because we're going to reuse these screws with the new switch. Okay, so now let's take a look at what's behind the switch. So as you can see, behind the switch there are two wires here, one on top and one at the bottom. And at each of those wires there are screws. Let's take a closer look here. So you can see that there's a screw on top and there's a screw at the bottom. So what we will need to do is we will need to unscrew these screws to remove the wires so that these wires can go into the new switch. Again, because these screws are uh, the star heads, we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws. And once the screws have been removed, So once the screws have been removed, you can see that this just comes right off the switch. So once we've removed the screws, we also need to separate these wires from this uh, black plastic piece because we're going to connect these screws to the new switch. So off camera, just now as I was uh, removing the screws, the connector for the top part came off, so I'm able to remove the wire already. For the bottom one, it's screwed in. So for the bottom one, I'm going to get another screwdriver because it's a much smaller screw and it requires a flat head screwdriver. You don't have to unscrew it all the way, you just need to unscrew it enough so that you can separate the wire from the connector and the black uh, plastic holder. Alright, so now we have the uh, wires separated. So remember that you have to remember which one goes on top. So in my case, 
the double wire here goes on the top and this one goes at the bottom. We're going to get the new switch now to put it in. So this is the new switch which I had purchased and you can see that um, it's the same size so it's a perfect replacement and the back looks exactly the same as the old switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect these two wires to the top and bottom of this connector just like uh, we disconnected from the first switch. Alright, so for this particular new switch as you can see, um, it's a perfect fit so it's pretty much the same standard size and at the back of the switch, it's exactly the same as the first switch with two connections uh, available in the back of the switch. For this particular switch though, what we're going to do is we're going to have to separate this frame from um, the piece, right? And we're going to put this in a safe spot. And we're going to unscrew these two screws in order to put the wires in. Okay, so there's also another two screws which we need to remove and also again this, uh, these two screws require the flat head screwdriver. That's why I'm using this flat head screwdriver. Don't lose the screws because we're going to need to put the screws back in. Alright, so I switched on the lights because it's really difficult to work in the dark and also very hard for the video to see anything. So let's take a look at this brand new switch. So for this new switch, as you can see, it's the right size, a perfect fit, and the back is exactly the same as uh, it was with the first switch. Now there's a whole bunch of screws which we need to remove. And uh, so this part is where we will use the Phillips screwdriver to remove it, and on the top here and at the bottom, also the flat head screws. So for this one, we're going to have to remove them completely, but the top two, you don't have to remove them all, all the way out because we just need to give enough space for the wires to go in. So let's remove it. So now once the screws have been removed, we do need to remove uh, this frame. Okay, just pop it off. And we also need to remove the switch. Again, it's just a pop-off as well, but be careful not to break anything. So just be gentle about it. All right. And the reason why we need to remove this is because we'll need to screw in the two screws here into the socket as uh, we saw. Now, I've got to be careful not to touch these wires because uh, I accidentally electrocuted myself just now. Whew. Okay. So again, we're going to put all that in a safe space. And now we're going to screw this two wires in, but I've got to switch off all the... Uh, lights again first because I don't want to get electrocuted. Okay, so we're now going to connect this into the top and we're going to use the flat head screwdriver to screw that screw back in. Okay, and make sure that it is not able to come out. And the same thing is going to happen for the bottom. Okay, and there we go. Just make sure that the wires are fast. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the rest of the switch together and we're going to screw the switch into the wall to make sure that it doesn't pop off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this uh, socket back in here where the switch is and we're going to use, we're going to have to reverse the process of course. So we're going to use the star shaped, well star head screws to screw this back in in order to hold this connector back to the connector. Let's see, where's the other hole? So this is of course to make sure that the switch doesn't fall apart every time we want to use it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so next step is we're going to have to screw this switch into the wall. And we're going to get these two holes to line up with the two screw holes that are inside the, uh, the hole over here. So when I bought the switch, of course, it came with two long screws. Opening ceremony! I hope I don't actually tear the package too excitedly and lose both screws in the dark. So here we go. Alright. I have two screws. Okay, and we're going to screw these into the wall right now. Just going to make sure that the screws catch into the holes. 
So I'm having a problem. Um, the new screws that came together, the switch is not long enough because it's not catching. So fortunately, I saved the screws from the old switch and I'm going to use these instead. Okay, so of course before we tighten it all the way, we want to make sure that the switch is straight. So I'm just going to adjust this before we screw the switch in for good. And now of course the next step is to put all this back together with the actual switch that controls the... And we're going to just put this in. Okay, catches. And of course the frame. So now let's try and see whether this works. We're still going to hit the fuse box and switch on the lever. All right, so the switch seems to have successfully switched on the light. Yes, so now it works. I don't have to fiddle, you know, with uh, disco lights like I did before. So I hope you found this video helpful in finding out how to change a switch inside your house. It's really that easy. Don't forget to click like and remember to subscribe for more fun videos. Bye Z. Need to screw up. Oh. During that segment, I had switched on the circuit at the fuse box because it was too dark for me to see. Somehow at that point, the camera managed to adjust to the darkness of the room and brighten up to the whole scene so you can't really see how dark it is. And unfortunately, that was when my hand touched the live wire while I was trying to explain stuff on camera. Anyway, be safe. Don't be like me.